<coughs> We're taking a look at the Pacific Ocean, Hurricane Rick. Um, today is Saturday, October 17th, 2009, and we are looking at a very intense hurricane right now. It's only an advisory 8, and it has reached category 4 intensity. Um, this started out as Tropical Depression 20E. I did have a video on that. So that was at advisory 1. This is advisory 8, and now the winds have increased um, from 35 miles per hour at advisory 1, and it's increased to 135 miles per hour. It's increased 100 miles per hour since the very first advisory. And the pressure is pretty low at 948 millibars. It's very low pressure. And it's actually supposed to get strong, even stronger than what they, the very first prediction was this would be its peak winds. But now, yesterday, they updated it. And they were saying 145, but now they're saying something different. So we got a special advisory um, going on. Maximum wind speed probability. Almost category 5. In fact, it could be a category 5 um, by 11 o'clock p.m. tonight. It could be a category 5. And then, as you see, it'll probably continue on into the middle of next week. And then, yeah, it's, it's a pretty serious storm here. <coughs> and the wind speed probabilities, um, it is, it does look like Baja California uh, will get some effects of Rick, not like hurricane force winds, but tropical storm force. Mainly, it, it it will. They're expecting it to see that. And if we take a look at the five-day cone, yeah, it is supposed to make a landfall on Baja, California. <clears throat> and it could arrive there as a severe tropical storm or a mineral hurricane. It looks like it'll make landfall away from Cabo San Lucas and more up here. So Rick, very dangerous hurricane. But elsewhere, on the Central Pacific, there is a little low potential out there. It is possible for it to develop. But elsewhere, besides Rick and that, there is no current active storms or disturbances out there.